Well, good morning. You're welcome to the Capital Church of All Nations. Good morning, Jesus. Lord. Can you tell us your I name and where you come from? I thank you. I'm Trala Samuel. I'm from the Northwest Province. Yes, can you hear a wonderful testimony? I was here in the month, in the month of May, the 12th of May particularly. I was on the prayer line. I had a problem on one side of the body in such a way that it was performing a very difficult moment for me to do anything in my life. Yes, so, brother. For how many years have you been suffering from this problem that affected one side of your body? Since 1992. You have been suffering from this problem for 32 years. Yes. And you came to the Catholic Church of All Nations and you were booked for the prayer line. Yes. When you attended the prayer line, what happened? When I attended the prayer line, the prophet prayed for me and sent me a test to go and meditate on it. I started using that meditation every time, every time, and I changed other pages for meditation. After a certain period of time, oh, it was about a week, he called me, the person called me from the church and told me that the prophet is still praying for you. Continue your meditation. Don't be disturbed. Yes, the church, they called you from the church to remind you as you continue meditating on the scripture that the man of God gave to you. Yes. And it, that, brother, for how many for, for how has this problem affected your life? No, no 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 person disturbed me. I was continuing praying. Yes, you had a problem that affected you for thirty two years. It affected me in the hand. You Boy. had a problem that affected you for thirty two years. Yes. How did this problem disturb your life? Well, in, in that 32 years, I was married just one year before it started. So I was unable, even my wife was unable to, to support me in the such a way that I was living. I became a, a somebody who suffered from, from hospital to hospital, from needy doctor to needy doctor, but no person had ever given me a so, so, solution to that. Yes, but, but, yes, but this problem caused you to go from hospital to hospital, yes. and there was no solution. Mm. You, took, have, you took the drugs that they gave you in the hospital, but these drugs brought no solution to this problem. Yes, I had no solution to this problem, so, but... Which but, other place again did you go in search for solution? I'm not hearing Which you. other place did you go in search for I, solution? I, I went to uh, Mbingo Hospital in the Northwest. After I'm being in hospital, I went to Mambu Hospital in Bafut. I even went to uh, Alicham in, ba in, in Buddha. Yes, and in all these hospitals, in, in all these hospitals, we were giving some drugs to take. Yes. And did these drugs bring solution to that problem? Yes, no, 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 I, I did not have a solution from all these hospitals. Since you never had a solution in all these hospitals, where did you go again in search of solution? I went for such information from inside traditional doctors. You went to oh, traditional doctors? Yes. Unfortunately, I would not even advise a brother of mine to go to a traditional doctor because you don't know what the man is thinking about you. When you see your future, you will try to drag it backwards. So when you went to this traditionalist, did you get solution from them? No solution. Instead, they tried to put me inside a society. When you hear somebody say that, I was being caught by an animal that I am using an animal to work with outside, but I don't know. People tried even to do that to me. Meanwhile, my grandfather told me about those things earlier years ago. Yes, our brother is testifying to the glory of God that she had this that had this problem for 32 years, which affected part of her body that is partial paralysis, and he has been suffering from this problem for 32 years. He has gone to many places in search of solution. He's been to several hospitals, but no solution. He went to native doctors, and he's telling us that in one of the native doctors' place, he was almost killed. He had to run for his life. Today, he wants to tell us that even in that situation, he could not sleep, because the moment he slept on the hand, on the side, which was paralyzed, he felt a lot of pain. Papa, you told us that when you slept on one side of the body, what happened with your hand? One side of the body is particularly the hand on the joint and the arm here. It used to boil like water. When I take a bucket of water and put my arm inside, before it makes up to an hour, the water is already hot. Don't, 
It makes me not to sleep and unable to lie on my hand on my bed. That is just to show the severity of the problem. He could not lie on the side, on the right side of his body. Each time he sleeps on that right side, he gets up at the level of his elbow. It is so hot that he says when he puts it in water, in less than one hour, the water will be like water that has been boiled. Yes, Papa, when you came here, the man of God prayed for you. You went back to the house. What did you experience? When I went back to the house, I was already praying any time. I made my prayers every time. I sit with my family and discuss and tell them that I'm still waiting for my solution from God because no one on earth will change my problem except God because man on earth will only add my problem. Because today, if I'm feeling well, I'm able to turn this hand like this. I was unable to do that. Can we celebrate Jesus Christ in the life of our Father? After he received the prayer from the man of God on the prayer line, he went back home and two weeks, he didn't even he was healed. He only slept one night and got up in the morning and realized that he was sleeping on the side, that he could not sleep on it before and he, could, and he was not feeling the pain. So it's then that he discovered that actually Jesus Christ had healed him. Can you celebrate Master Jesus in the life of our Father? That clapping was not enough for Jesus Christ. He is a master healer. This is a situation that our father has been facing for the past 32 years. He has gone to hospitals. He has gone to native doctors. He has tried on his own. The no solution. There are many things that he could not do. He is a builder by profession. He could not do his work normally. He could not roof a house. He could not carry heavy objects. But today, he is in the presence of God because he found solution in Jesus Christ. Can you celebrate Master Jesus? Yes, our Father, you said with that part of the body that was not working, you could not make movement with that hand. Can you show an action that today you can shake the hand, you can move it up and down? Can you watch our Father? Can you watch our Father? What he could not do for 32 years. What he could not do for 32 years, he's doing it so easily. Can you celebrate the mighty healer? Yes, Papa. What is your advice for the children of God who are watching you right now? I will always say to people that if you don't believe in God, don't even believe in yourself that you are a living human being. You are a creature of God. And God alone will carry you forward if you are accepted the creature that you are the creature of God. No little doctor can create a man. I think so. Every one of us sees it. They will only create statues, but they cannot create man and they cannot give you air to breathe. They cannot give you energy to walk. That's what I will say to everyone on earth today that if you are, don't believe that God exists, forget. Go and sleep inside the grass and see whether that grass will wake you up. It will not wake you up. A human being will come and wake you up. Children of God, if that celebration is for Jesus Christ, then you can celebrate better than that. For him is the mighty healer. Only him can do what no man can do. It does not matter how long you have been in that situation. What you need is to call on Jesus. He called on Jesus and he answered him. If you know you are going back with testimony today like this, can you clap for Jesus Christ? Jesus is the solution fundamental to all our needs and to all our problems. Papa Chola is here this morning to bless the Lord for what he has done in his life. Il dit que pendant 32 ans, il a croupi sur le poids de la paralysie passée du côté droit. Il dit, maçon de profession, cela a empiété sur sa vie, sur le point professionnel, parce qu'il dit qu'il ne pouvait pas lever la main, ce côté était paralysé. Il dit, lorsqu'il se couchait de ce côté, lorsqu'il se levait, il ressentait des douleurs. Il dit qu'il est allé d'un hôpital à un autre hôpital, mais pas de solution. Il dit même qu'il a rencontré des charlatans qui n'ont pas pu apporter la solution à son problème. 
Et dit par la grâce de Dieu, il s'est retrouvé à l'église Capénaon de toutes les nations, où le serviteur de Dieu, le prophète Cali, l'a inscrit à la ligne de prière. Et il a prié pour lui dans l'autorité du nom de Jésus. Papa, tu as là, là aujourd'hui pour dire que, avec les passages bibliques que le serviteur de Dieu lui avait donnés, il a continué de méditer avec ses versets à la maison. Et par la grâce de Dieu, cette paralysie partielle a été éradiquée. Comme vous avez vu sur vos écrans, téléspectateurs, vous l'avez vu exercer ce côté qui était paralysé. Il peut présentement lever la main. Il peut maintenant exercer cette partie. Et aujourd'hui, il est là pour bénir le Seigneur pour ce qu'il a fait dans sa vie. Le conseil qui nous véhicule ce matin est que si vous ne croyez pas en Dieu, ne croyez non plus en vous. Et lorsque vous avez des situations, ne vous tournez pas avec des marabouts parce qu'ils ne vous apporteront aucune solution. Alors, chers téléspectateurs, à cause de certains problèmes techniques, nous vous prions de regarder la délivrance, la vidéo de sa délivrance sur nos pages Facebook, YouTube. Et si le Seigneur vous visitera également. Est-ce qu'on peut clamer très fort le Seigneur Jésus? Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and share. God bless you. Merci d'avoir regardé. Abonnez-vous, aimez et partagez. Que Dieu vous bénisse.